Hey guys! Thought I'd show you really quickly just how to set up your own Moodle page if that's what you want to do. First thing you need to do is you need to go and email Henry Bravo and ask him to set you up a Moodle course shell. That's what I've done right here. There's my new course. Now I just click on that and I'm going to get a pretty boring, pretty blank screen. First thing I want to do is go and change the settings over here on the left side. Here's where you can custom make your own course. I want to change my course name. Perhaps we'll call this Geology. And I'll call it Geo 101. Now, I don't particularly want to organize my course around weeks. That's a lot of work. I just want to organize it perhaps as a couple of uh, units. So I'm going to change it to Topics. Maybe I've got four units. You can change the start date of your course. And here's where you can generally just uh, change a whole bunch of things. If you don't want students to upload huge files, you can change the maximum upload size. Uh, another useful thing to have a look at is to whether or not you want to put an enrollment key. In this case, I do. I'm just going to type. If you forget what the enrollment key is, you can just hit unmask. The rest of it, not all that essential right now, other than I might just write an intro. Welcome to geology. Save my changes. Now I'm ready to go. There's my four topics. Now, to change anything else, I have to put the editing on in the right top right hand corner. You can add new blocks. Perhaps you want to add a calendar so students can see due dates of anything you post. Oh, I really don't like my calendar way down there, so I'm going to move it up to the top. Just drag it and drop it in. The first block is always there, no matter how many course, how many topics or how many weeks you have. This is just where you put your introduction. Um, maybe you want to put your your name, any contact info. You could also just make a really simple list for due dates and then type them in as you need them. Now, I don't want it all the same font size, so I'm going to change it. Maybe make that a little bit smaller. I want this to stand out a bit, so I'm going to change the font color. That's a nice color. Maybe put a little bit of a bar underneath it. If you want to highlight anything, again, just scroll over it. This is your highlighting tool or fill tool, and you can easily highlight. Now, anything you put there is going to be saved. You can also add pictures or images, if you like, in your title page. But save the changes, and that will appear on your front page. If you want to make things invisible to students or visible, you just click on this little eye. Now it's visible to students. Now it's not. If you want to add uh, a web page, perhaps for a study module, Just write in the name of it. And you can write in whatever information you want. Perhaps you want to put in an assignment here. Type the name of the assignment. You can scroll over it, put a link in, ask my link to open in a new window, find the file that I want, click on it, it should come up in blue, save and display. There it is there. And it'll ask me if I want to upload it or if I want to download it. There's a number of things that you can do. If you ever want to see what your students would see, then you just simply switch your role. This is what students would see. Turn my editing back on. Now I'm ready, if I would like to, to add any kinds of activities. I've got forums, quizzes, surveys, wikis, anything you like, assignments, etc. One last thing I'll show you really quickly and just remind you is to go back and check out the digital ed for Pacific Academy High School staff. There you'll find all kinds of examples of different ways that you can possibly use it as well as some useful video clips. Hopefully that was helpful.